Hi, I'm Alex Anderson. I'm a bond trader and portfolio manager for Envision Capital Management in Los Angeles. Today, I'll be giving you the latest fixed income portfolio pointers. These are helpful pointers that you do-it-yourself bond investors can use at home to make your bond investments more successful. The topic for today is school district general obligation bonds that participate in state aid programs. These state aid programs are largely unknown to most do-it-yourself investors, but are very important. These state aid programs, also known as intercept programs, are a pledge at the state level to cover the bond payments in the event of school district encounters financial trouble. So, if the issuer can't make bond payments, uh, the aid program kicks in and the state makes a payment. In a nutshell, it's an extra safety net for the investors that own these bonds. Because of this e extra layer of protection, these bonds are great for those seeking income with capital preservation. Not all states have these programs. In fact, some states have stringent criteria that the school districts need to abide by in order to qualify. But many states do participate. Texas, Ohio, Arkansas, Georgia, New York, California, New Jersey are just some of the many. These programs also go by many different names. For example, Texas has the Permanent School Fund, Minnesota has the School District Credit Program, and Kentucky has the SEEK Program. At the conclusion of this broadcast, I'll have a list of many of the state aid programs so you can see uh, if your home state has one. One more important thing to keep in mind is the overall financial health of the state that is backstopping the school districts. For example, Michigan participates in an aid program, but they are currently experiencing financial hardship. Therefore, relying on them as a backstop for your bonds might not be such a good idea. To find out whether a specific bond issue has an intercept program, you need to access the official statement. The official statement gives all the relevant information regarding the aid programs. One can do this by entering the bond's QCIP number on the website emma.msrb.org. Once again, the web address is emma.msrb.org. I hope this edition of Portfolio Pointers has been helpful. I'm Alex Anderson, and we'll be back in two weeks with another edition. Thanks.